Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I'm jumping on to one of the HH Gaming's accounts here, Never. Uh, Never does a lot of content writing on the uh, website. He's also in the same clan as me. And uh, he dropped me a DM earlier and was basically like, I've got a team that's going to work against Iron Twins 15 across the board. And the cool thing is, it's based on the same team that I've used in Clan Boss for like... And in terms of like a team that hasn't changed in over a year, you know, he's got the same builds that he's just been using. I won't burn all his stuff here, uh, but yeah, the same builds that he's been using in this team, he's just carried over to the Iron Twins uh, with a couple of different champions, and bam, he is just autoing it all the way through to 15. So it's used utilizing the double man eater and pain keeper kind of base of a Batman eater, which has been around forever. And basically building an unkillable team for Iron Twins. So I'll show you the team in action. And then we'll go on to full builds after. But you can see here he's got himself to stage 15 already. Um, and he is farming it in a couple of minutes. Full auto. So he sets his keys up and away he goes. Now we will say before we get into the run. Check this out. Hellhades.com. Yeah I've shown this a few times recently. But take a look. Raid stages tool. People are saying, I don't know why I'm not getting the rewards I should get from this dungeon. Into dungeons, find the iron twins you want. The rewards for Void are way better than other affinities. Okay, going to stage 15. Tells us the stats of the boss. Yeah, I've told, told you about that. But if you click on rewards, this is the same for any content in Raid, by the way. You can come in and do this. It tells you what you get. So there is a, uh, there's like a 26. 17, 16, 15, 14, like there's a massive chance of you getting the silver, uh, whatever this is called, the silver arrow, <laughs> the silver coin, yeah? And then you've got a very slim chance of getting a decent amount of essence, okay? So if people are like, I think it's broken, unfortunately, it looks like in the game you get a bit of both. You do not. You get one or the other, and there's a massive, massive chance that you're going to be getting. Uh, coins yeah it's just it's the way they've done it they don't want people to get like maxed out stuff really quick is what it is i can't change it but yeah you can see here we've got double man eater with the pain keeper with a tower that could be helicaf as well and then obviously the main man geo who is quickly becoming super op for this dungeon is coming in there to do the actual damage everyone else is literally just in there to keep the team running uh full auto and affinity friendly so you can see here, we're getting smacked. Doesn't matter because everybody is built to basically um, have like max damage, but no survivability. Doesn't matter because we're unkillable. You can see we're getting absolutely slam dunked from the boss, but they're like, whatever. Uh, you know, we're in no trouble whatsoever. Got the unkillable comes on here. And I'll show you the AI setup that he's done for this as well in a second. But you just kind of cruise through. Most of the damage comes from Geo being hit. Almost everything I'm seeing out there at the moment revolves around Geo's because Geo is by far the quickest way to do damage to this boss. The boss hitting us, Geo putting up his buff and, um, oh, his debuff, sorry, and then the boss basically killing himself. So there are other, other kind of teams that are out there. That's fine. And they're easy enough to, to kind of work with, but they're just slower. That's a, that's a fact just slower so if never actually like fully optimize this he could actually get this done a lot quicker and and there's also a little bit around good fortune i guess because if you hit into one of his kind of um one of his passives where's his passive here if you actually hit him into one of these passives he'll drop his debuffs and cleanse but if you if you geo into one of those passives then actually the burn stays up there's a little bit around rng and luck and as I said, it's not fully optimized. It's just he's rolled in with the team that he's used for a long time. And it just straight up works. He's obviously got a toxic set rolling here on his tower. And you can see the amount of damage that happens when he swings in with that Geo burn up. That's why everyone is using Geo. It's just a phenomenal amount of damage that's being done. Never in any trouble. And this is going to work on all affinities as well. I can't promise that they won't do some sort of nerf to unkillable. Because they're probably looking at these videos now. They're probably looking at 
the Paragon video. If you've not seen the Paragon cheese, it's way slow, but it is uh, foolproof. I would be surprised if they're happy with what they're seeing, okay? I'm not saying they should change it. Uh, it does feel a bit bloody cheese, but uh, some people like it cheesy. Yeah, but um, I can't imagine that they're going to let this just roll. They're big new boss for the, for the year without kind of interjecting in some way. Maybe it'd be like when you get a certain amount of Iron Man, uh, Iron Brands or whatever they're called, then Unkillable doesn't work or whatever. I don't know, but I feel like it will change eventually. But you see here, that was two and a half minute run. Um, just go into the team setup and grab it. This one here. And the way he's done it here, so he opens with one uh, A1 on his slower man eater and his faster one, he just lets it roll. The tower, he opens with his A1, turns off the A2, and then um, uses A3 as the priority. Paintkeeper just turns off the A2. And then Geo also turns off the A2. And I'll show you how these are geared now as well. So let's run through the builds then. I'll start with the two man eaters. We've got the fast man eater here, who's at 271 speed. Now, Never's got these built as it was for clan boss, yeah? So we've got got the right speed and then built for damage attack crit rate crit damage i would say and, and with masteries i'm sure we don't have war master now it might be more optimal to take war master out of the mix and take the damage out so that just geo passive is doing damage so that you don't get those kind of times where the boss cleanses okay but either way if you've got them already built and it's a quick run anyway do you want to rebuild them up to you really but it might be slightly more optimal to, to not be doing all this Warmaster damage. But we've got Warmaster here on the second Man Eater as well. 247 speed and then built to do as much damage as possible. We have got a tower who is basically running in Toxic gear. All of his damage comes from Toxic. He's got 250 speed and zero Masteries. We have got the Pain Keeper. Warmaster build, again, it's just built as he was built for clan boss, so 240 speed, built for damage. And then the Geo is built to make sure he, he lands. Yeah, so high accuracy, 213 speed on this build. Again, it's not optimal in terms of speed. There's loads of flex here. Um, it's just what Never already had built out. And then he's got Warmaster on as well. So... As I say, like relatively comfortable. Of course, you've got to have double man eaters and, and tower, but I'm pretty sure you can just sub in another unkillable champion if you don't have these. Like if you've got Helicaf, he'll sub in for tower. If you've only got one man eater, you could probably sub in another unkillable as well. There'll be loads of options here. We're just kind of scratching the surface, but level 15, it's going to work on all affinities. Two and a half minute to two minute kind of run. It's pretty comfortable. And this fella here, it's kind of the nuts and bolts of almost every team I'm seeing that is quick. But there you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. Thank you to Never for letting me on the account. That is the twins getting absolutely spanked. I'll see you later.